week of Trinity 15, Friday, Jesus' bloody keeping of the law is gospel. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac when he was eight days old, as God had commanded him. Genesis 21, verse 4. Dear Redeemed, Abraham abided by the word of God concerning this gracious Old Testament sacrament. As a result, Isaac received the promised blessings of the Lord. According to the command of God, baby boys were to be circumcised on the eighth day. The Pharisees, who placed their hope in Moses and in the law Moses received, abided by the requirement of circumcising a baby boy on the eighth day, even if the eighth day was a Sabbath day. Think about it. These men engaged in an activity that resulted in someone else being blessed. What a wonderful, joyful occasion. It was similar to the joyous baptism of a baby today. In circumcising a baby boy, even on the Sabbath, the Pharisees maintained that they had not broken, but rather had kept the law. Jesus said, Did not Moses give you the law? Yet none of you keeps the law. Why do you seek to kill me? No one has kept the law. All have sinned. Recall what Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount about breaking the commandment on killing by simply being angry with your brother. Matthew 5.22 The people answered and said, You have a demon. Who is seeking to kill you? Some of the people are amazed at Jesus' assertion and think that he is demon-possessed. Jesus answered and said to them, I did one work, and you all marvel. Moses therefore gave you circumcision, not that it was from Moses, but from the fathers, and you circumcise a man on the Sabbath. If a man receives circumcision on the Sabbath, so that the law of Moses should not be broken, are you angry with me, because I made a man completely well on the Sabbath? John 7, verses 19-23 through 23. Jesus did an act of charity and mercy when he healed a man on the Sabbath. This miracle of God is condemned by the religious leaders. They desire to kill Jesus and are making plans to do so. The religious leaders had broken and were breaking the law of Moses. Jesus is the only one who never broke the law that he gave to Moses and always kept the same law of God. His first blood, shed for our redemption, began flowing forth from the infant priest when he was circumcised on the eighth day after his birth in Bethlehem. Years later, this Passover lamb poured forth his blood. Jesus was slain for all and rose again from the dead. Christ is risen. Prayer Lord, I confess that I have not kept the law. I sin each day in thought, word, and deed. Lord, I confess that you have kept the law in my stead and have shed your blood to cover all my sins. Thanks be to you. Please help me to abide by your law. Amen. Hymn number 177 O sacred day when first was poured the blood of our redeeming Lord. O solemn day when first began his sufferings for sinful man. Just born into this world of woe, his blood for man was made to flow. His future death was thus expressed, thus too his early love confessed. From heaven descending to fulfill the mandates of his Father's will, even now behold the victim lie, the Lamb of God prepared to die. Beneath the knife behold the child, the innocent, the undefiled, for captives he the ransom pays, for lawless man the law obeys. Lord, circumcise our hearts, we pray, our fleshly natures purge away. Thy name, thy likeness, may we bear, O stamp thy holy image there.